everyone, thanks so much for coming to watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to make these cute little miniature emoji edible stress balls. Yes, these are edible. Not the balloon, but the stuff inside. So to make these stress balls, you're gonna need some squishy candy. So I am trying these with gummy bears and these Lifesaver gummies as well. The gummy bears definitely are a lot squishier, but I'm curious to see how the stress balls turn out between the two of them. So you need some balloons. So this is the non-edible part. Um, I am using yellow because I'm gonna turn them into cute little emojis, but of course any balloons will do. You're gonna need some little teeny tiny elastics or any ways to, you know, cinch your little balloon together. You're gonna need saran wrap or some sort of plastic wrap. You're gonna need um, markers if you choose to turn these into emojis and you need some scissors. Okay, I'm gonna get started first with the gummy bears because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be totally awesome with these squishy little gummy bears. First thing you're gonna do is get some plastic wrap. Obviously the size of it will depend on how big or small you'd like to make your stress ball. Now I'm gonna start off with two of each color of my gummy bears and see how this little stress ball turns out. Next, you're going to wrap the plastic around the gummy bears. So this is where my little teeny tiny rain balloons come in. So I'm just gonna cinch it all together so it's nice and tight. And you do wanna allow a little bit of space for movement when you squish it, but you wanna make sure that it's still tight enough to hold in all the candy. So I'm just gonna put my little elastic around this and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so once you have your little sack of candies, you're gonna grab your balloon and you're just gonna carefully cut off the tip and this is so that you can get your little sack of candy in easier. And whether you wanna put your sack in before or after do this, but you're gonna cut off the excess plastic right here. So you don't have to have it in the balloon to do this, but just do that to ensure that you know, there's not any extra plastic playing around. You're gonna try to stretch out your balloon so that when you squish it, it does have that sort of stress ball feel to it. Cause you want it to sort of squish and it's kind of cool cause you can see the, the gummy bear texture there a little bit. Once I'm happy with how the stress ball feels, I'm gonna tie another elastic around the balloon and then similar to the plastic wrap, I'm gonna cut off the excess balloon. And here is my first miniature edible emoji stress ball. I am really happy with how this turned out. It's so squishy. The gummy bears really work well to give you almost the same sensation as slime depending on how thick your slime is. So if you have pretty thick slime and you make a stress ball, this is what it would feel like. So I'm gonna make some more with gummy bears. I'm gonna try out different sizes. I'm gonna make one that's smaller and one that's bigger. And of course, turn them into a little emoji faces. So make sure you guys keep watching to see what they are. And after that, I'm gonna move on to my stress balls using the Lifesavers and see how the Lifesavers compare to the gummy bears. Definitely loving how cute this one is, wink wink. Okay, and for my last gummy bear stress ball, I'm just gonna use the rest of the gummy bears that were in the package and just see how it goes. This obviously will be my biggest one yet. Okay, so this is my last gummy bear one. I'm loving the size, I'm loving the feel of it. Still obviously so squishy. If you're super stressed out, you can just 
open it up and eat all the candies, right? So that's the best part of this. Okay, just to wrap up, here are the three that I made with the gummy bears, and now I'm gonna make three more using the gummy lifesavers. Okay, so here are my lifesaver gummies. There are five flavors, and they're pretty squishy. Not nearly as squishy as gummy bears, but still extremely squishy. So we're gonna shove these into a stress ball and see how it feels. So here's my first one. It's the smallest one I'm going to make and it's definitely a lot firmer than the gummy bears. It's still super squishy and you know there's probably people out there that probably like a firmer squish. So I'm just comparing here. Gummy bears, lifesavers. You can see that the gummy bear one does expand a little bit more and is a little bit rounder because those gummy bears sure are squishy. Okay I'm going to carry on and make two more lifesaver stress balls. Alright, this one I'm liking a lot because there's a lot more lifesavers in here, so naturally it's going to be a little bit more fun to squish. Because I'm loving this one so much, I felt like this emoji was appropriate. Okay, and sadly I'm on to my last dress ball. These have been so fun to make and they're super easy. There's no cooking, there's no microwaving, there's nothing like that. So this is a very easy and simple and really fast way to have a stress ball. Um, no slime, no borax, just candy if you have it, of course. But if you do, I highly recommend you make these. Here we have my sixth edible emoji and it's just so squishy and fun and just to wrap up here's the three that I made with the lifesavers and I'm still really happy with how they feel just different than the gummy bears thanks so much everybody for coming to watch this video let me know what you think of this crazy idea and um, I really hope you guys try it at home because it's super easy and it's obviously lots of fun to play with and then you can just eat it afterwards I mean who wouldn't love that idea Anyways, make sure that you guys comment on which one you like the best, share the video, and like it of course. Thanks everyone.